Hey YouTube, it's Jameson with 6x6 Studios. Welcome back to the Nerd Cave. Today we're going to be talking about my computer and the temperature issues that I've been having with my Ryzen 1700 processor. Um, it's strapped up to a water 3.0 from Thermaltake, so uh, you would think that this 360 millimeter rad could uh, keep this thing cool, but I was getting temperatures up into the 60s. So I changed out the thermal compound, which you can check out that video right here. Um, to some Arctic Silver 5, hopefully getting a little bit better performance, and we did, but I'm still reaching in the 60s. So I'm using a K5 Gaming Gigabyte motherboard, which has been decent so far, but the software for it has been terrible. App Center from Gigabyte uh, has been waiting on an update, which finally came. That would actually make it work with my system. It wouldn't boot up, it would actually lock up, and I'd have to restart everything um, if I would attempt to load App Center in the past. So. I was kind of excited for this update. I loaded it in. I was able to actually monitor my temperatures a little bit more closely uh, since there's a lot more sensors on this board than I was able to read with uh, a speed fan and hardware monitor. So I checked it out and my VRMs, my vCore VRMs, my computer voltage regulator modules were at 90 C. I mean, you could fry an egg on those. And I actually noticed by touching those VRMs that they were burning hot earlier, but I had no way to actually test to uh, see the temperatures. I need to go get a little temperature gun. But uh, anyway, so I figured that this motherboard is probably meant to be in a case that has, you know, a rear exhaust fan, just a little bit of airflow over the uh, VRMs, which I thought might make a little bit of a difference. So I ordered a new fan. Um, it's just an 80 millimeter from Cooler Master. It's the Blade Master 80. Um, it's supposed to be really quiet. The reviews on Amazon were good, so I just went ahead and ordered it. Just need something really small. And I actually installed it back here in my case. I uh, moved the eight pin CPU power over just a little bit and uh, uh, just set it on top there with a little bit of double-sided tape and ran the cables, running a little bit of air over those VRMs. And lo and behold, the VRM temperatures came down to 60 C, a 30 degree difference. And it was just a matter of minutes after plugging that in that I saw a huge drop. So the VRMs cooled down. So then I went to go see and make sure that my processor was doing okay. And of course those temperatures came way down as well. I'm now in the mid thirties whenever I'm gaming. I play a lot of Dota, had a little uh, marathon last night and it never got above 40. In all, I'm pretty happy that I was able to get the temperatures that I thought this system should be getting uh, with just a little 180 millimeter fan. Although you really do need to be careful with these open air cases like this. A lot of these motherboards are designed to have airflow over some of the components like the VRMs, uh, your North Bridge, South Bridge, parts like that. Anything that's got a big heat sink over it, it's meant to have airflow. So if you're in a room like I am right now that doesn't have a fan, there isn't much airflow, and you have an open air case like this, you might consider strapping a fan in there and uh, moving a little bit of that air around. Uh, the 180 millimeter fan actually inspired me to install another 140 millimeter fan in the bottom to kind of feed the radiators a little bit and to also maybe get some uh, fresh air up to my graphics card, which is a blower style GTX 1080. Um, I really wish I would have got a graphics card that had a little bit better cooling, but whenever I got this, I had it in a real small case in a, uh, a cubby hole in my desk, so I really needed something to exhaust all that air out the back. But now that it's open, that blower is a little bit more difficult to keep cool. But i um, really happy with uh, the way everything turned out. It was a very cheap fix. I'm going to link everything down in the description that uh, I used. Uh, the 80 millimeter fan from uh, Cooler Master and uh, the 120 millimeter fan, or I'm sorry, 140 millimeter fan that I got from Rosewell. I've actually uh, been very impressed with that fan. It moves a lot of air and it is very, very quiet. Uh, again, my name is Jameson with 6x6 Studios. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.